Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is attach a blade to our endoscope. So you hold it at an angle, you click on, and then you push it up to make sure that your bulb is working. Make sure that it sits flush in the head because you can put it on the wrong way, but it's not very secure and the bulb doesn't work. So, and your bulb works. Okay, so now we're going to collect our equipment, so put on our gloves. We need lubricant, we need our local anaesthetic, we need a syringe, we need a tie to tie our AT tube in place, and we always select three endotracheal tubes. We select the one that we think should fit, which is 3.5, I'm hoping, so we'll go on with our three and our four. Okay, so I'm gonna check the patency of the cuff. So I inflate the cuff, check that it's inflated all the way around and you leave that again for about a minute just to check that the cuff stays up. And then before you intubate your patient you have to deflate the cuff again. We need to give our assistant clear instructions as to what to do with our cat. So Salim, if I could get you to place the patient into sterile recumbency, so up like this. And I'm going to get you to place your two fingers beside the canines but not in the patient's mouth in case it bites. And I want you to direct the nose towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I need to measure the length of my ET tube. It goes from the nostrils to the manubrium. And if it was too long, I would cut it this side and reattach the connector. You need to make sure that your tube is patent. I'm going to lubricate the tube. Not very much because the lube can block the end of the tube and then your patient won't be receiving any gas. So now I'm going to open the patient's mouth, pull the tongue forward between the canines. And with the laryngoscope, I'm going to place it on the back of the tongue to visualise the focal folds. And I'm going to use the local anaesthetic spray to make sure it's working. You spray on your vocal folds and you leave it for 30 to 90 seconds to take effect. So obviously in your OSCE you're not going to wait 90 seconds. So we proceed. We take our laryngoscope, we take our ET tube and we hold the tongue in our fingers and we use the laryngoscope to visualise the aspect and we thread the ET tube down the laryngoscope blade and then to our patient. Okay, so now we have our patient back into lateral recumbency. We're going to secure our tube in place so your tie goes behind the connector. You don't tie it over the tube because you can occlude the tube and again you're blocking off the air to your patient and we tie securely behind the ears. Check for placement. Once we're happy we can use a piece of hair, we can press in the chest or you can put your face down to feel for a breath. Once we're happy then we can very very carefully inflate the cuff. and our patient is ready to be connected.